Yo, what's up, everybody? Adam Marcy, UFC 3 Tips and Tricks. If you can't tell by the title of this video, there's not going to be any UFC 3 in this video. It's really just a message straight to all 5,000 plus of my subscribers. Now, why I chose to do this video while looking like shit, I didn't do my beard, haven't got a haircut. I don't know why I decided that. I could have just waited like a day. I have a haircut tomorrow. But I didn't. I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life. All right, let's talk about some stuff because I want to come forward. I want to be honest with everybody on a lot of different things, most of which are positive. I want to tell you about why I haven't been posting. It's good stuff. Some of you have hypothesized that I went to jail and my baby mama got me. Couldn't be further from the truth. I'm thriving. So is my daughter. So is baby mama. Everything is going great. Um, let's jump right into this. Uh, one thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is basically my reasoning behind creating this channel. Because once you understand why I created this channel, which I know you might be thinking, uh, uh they're the help people get better at UFC. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the basic level answer. But come on, what's in it for me here, right? Everybody that gives help, they want something in return. Why did I create this channel? We're going to talk about it right now. Um, when I sat down on that bed, right there which is oh oh shit that's a dirty ass room right here it's actually kind of clean it's just that one spot but on that bed that's neatly made um i started thinking you know like actually let's take it back even further ufc 2 i was in college and i was like how do you clinch how do you grapple there's no tutorials so i went on youtube and i saw i'm a boxer shout out to my boy over there oh he's got a great channel um so I'll turn it back over to him for the tips, right? Um, and I was just like, damn, this is really cool. And I already wanted to like produce content in some way. And I was good at striking in the game, but I had no clue how to do the grappling. And I'm like, damn, I can learn the grappling. And I'm sure there's so many other people who have this question. I'll make a channel and it'll be great. Uh, but then I started to cross this barrier of like, let's just, can we just be straightforward here for once? I am a 25 I just turned 26 year old man the other day. So when I was in college, I'm 22, 23. I got a lot of shit on my plate. How can I justify making a UFC 3 channel? Not only is that a video game, if you didn't know, but it's a video game that didn't sell many copies. So it's not like if you're a Madden YouTuber, you'll make like a million dollars. And when people ask you like, why are you playing video games? You'll be like, oh, I make a million dollars. That's a pretty good reason. But I'm doing this so much time, and I'm not making any money. So I had to justify it. Why am I going to do this? Because I'm talented. I can go make my money elsewhere. A um, little plug for myself there. <laughs> um, so my reasoning was I had two scenarios in my head. Either one, I'm going to build UFC 3, this video game, into a business for myself. How was I going to do that? By monetizing YouTube views, um, like the, the ad sense, whatever. And by also opening up things like a Patreon page for people to support um, the TNT virtual gym. I tried to train people and people loved the free training, but nobody wanted to pay. So I think we could just laugh and admit that these um, business ventures in UFC 3 did not work. They did not land well with the community. Um, so my first goal of just getting, I wanted to quit my job, work for myself and have my own business. And if that business was playing video games, that's pretty freaking sick. I don't think you can argue that. Uh, but that didn't work. I'm just being honest. I was well aware that that would probably not work. So I had a backup plan, which was arguably a much better plan, um, which was, hey, look, if little old Adam Marcy from the, from the back ass of nowhere, if fucking from the back ass of nowhere, a goes to win and he does the chicken dance. <laughs> Random Connor impression. Um, if I can do, if I can build a YouTube channel, what does that mean? Script videos. Um, uh, plan uh, the, the content strategy behind videos, make the thumbnails, make the graphics so much more than other people who are, you know, famous and really good at what they do, but they just maybe not know how to do all this tech shit. They may hire me and me being an avid MMA, UFC, whatever fan, I was hoping that I can make an entrance into the MMA world based off my UFC 3 video game channel. You see what I'm trying to work at here? And the reason why I'm so happy in this video, if you can't tell, picked up the energy a bit from the, the previous videos, is because that second plan has been working very well lately. While I can't really release 
well, I can, but I'm choosing not to say exactly who I'm working with because while 90% of you guys are very nice, very kind individuals, you got a couple of you out there who will do anything to see my demise. And all because I, I may have beat you in this video game. Um, but anyway, um, so uh, some people I've noticed at work, I'm getting more work, I'm doing stuff for them, hence my lack of time to make video game videos. So I, I guess I apologize for that. Not really, I'm super happy about it. Um, but I'm gonna try to get back to making videos for this channel. The, the thing that's been holding me back, honestly, is because I, I kind of come from like the Kobe, the Mamba mentality. Like either I'm doing this 100%, it's gonna be the greatest thing that ever happened, or I'm not doing it at all. I personally feel like my content, if you watch it, the way it's edited, the, the ideas, it's it's a list of, of never been done before. I don't want to keep bragging, but I felt like it was A1 content for this community. And I fear that I won't be able to do that with my current time schedule. I would only be able to like talk over my fights, which isn't really anything epic. That's what everybody does. It's, it's boring. I don't want to be in line with what everybody else is doing. I like the tip videos, top 10 tips, where I could really like outline and really help people, which was the goal of this of this channel, you know, along with making a killing. <laughs> um, what else do I want to talk about? What else do I want to talk about, right? That's how we used to pose in our high school pictures with baggy clothes. <laughs> um, um, hold on, what do I want to talk about? From now on, if I do post videos here, it's the integrity of being true to myself is a, is the utmost importance now. I feel like at first the the importance was on growth. I wanted to build a business out of this, and now that that's happening, I feel like I'm just going to be real with you guys. You know, I feel like in all my other, I feel in all my other videos, I was coming out all politically correct and you know, whatever. I was coming out, <laughs> hey, what's up, guys, and trying to give all this fake energy. You know what I mean? Like like Usman says, when you see me, keep that same energy. And that's not who I am. Whatever the fuck this is, this is who I am. So hopefully you guys like that. Uh, I'm just going to keep it real and straightforward. And hopefully that doesn't get me in any trouble. So um, let's, let's talk about one more thing. Let's talk about one more thing. As a YouTuber, which I never even considered myself a YouTuber. I was just like in my, I don't even know. I would just focus on building a business. I don't give a fuck about the YouTuber title or whatever, um, or 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 whatever. This is Nick Diaz. You know, a lot, a lot of people they feel so they feel some type of way. You know, <laughs> um, random Nick Diaz impression. We're, we're going going strong here. Um, this is the real me. ADD as fuck, just all over the place, impersonating people, a complete goofball. If you don't like it. If if you don't like it, then then change your station. Well, fuck it. It's a fight. <laughs> I can keep going. I got like seventeen other people. Um, comment below if you guys know. Uh, you know who it was, Mike Tyson. But have you ever seen that interview where, where the guy's like, Mike, why do you have to? Why do you have to use that language? Well, well, fuck it. It's a fight. If if you don't like if you don't like it, then change your station. All right, Mike. Th that's exactly what we'll do. <laughs> Where was I going with this? There's one last thing I want to say, and there's been overwhelming positive energy from all of you, really from the beginning. And I have watched some other YouTube channels where YouTubers talked about things of the natural tendencies for them to focus on the negative comments, even though they only made up 1% of the comment box. I thought I was crazy for doing this. I thought I was like, a negative depressed fuck because I do have my my battles with depression which is something that if, if you guys request it maybe I'll talk about it. but it doesn't seem to be a good place to talk about this stuff a lot of you guys are assholes <laughs> um, but so many of you were were saying so many kind things and really giving me so many like pushes forward in life and I instead I chose to focus on the people that were trying to bring me down there were so few of them and their attempts were so futile, but but still I focused on them. And I feel really guilty for that. All that that's a lesson I'm gonna take forward in life, um, no matter what. I, you know, I, I could get deeper on this, but like I feel like this venture set me up for bigger things. 
Because if you want to be anybody in this world, if you want to make real changes, you're going to have to have a lot of eyes on you. And with that, there's going to be some dumb people saying some dumb shit. And you need to learn how to just know. You got to know that what you feel in your heart, what your intentions are, they are the right thing for you to do. And I was still, I was still worried about hiding the fact that I want to make this into a business and trying to appease this group and this group instead of just being real. Yo, if you don't like the fact that I try to make this into a business, I do not give a fuck. Okay. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like the straightforward shit that I'm trying to bring to you. And uh, hopefully you'll see me back making more videos. Today, I'm celebrating my birthday. I'm doing stuff with my baby girl. And then I got some videos to edit for some clients. But tomorrow, hopefully, I'll shoot some more. Thank you so much. We're going to do some real shit. This is the worst e exit ever. I'm going to do my best to really affect the world on a big, giant scale. And you guys, you guys were the beginning of it. The silly YouTube video game channel. And to everybody that messaged me on PSN before I launched the channel saying, what are you going to do with it? It's a video game. It sells under a million copies. Here's my dance to you. I did it. See you soon.